Today I would like to show you how iframes can be useful to you in your programming. So basically what I've done is I've set up a little button on which I call uh, a run code and uh, I have a little text area where uh, I can type in some JavaScript code and that's all I have here and uh, when the button is pressed it's going to run this code which is basically get everything in the text box gets its value and evaluate it which is basically the JavaScript function called eval and uh, let's see what it does so here uh, um, I can uh, type in some JavaScript code into my text box so I have some examples so let me just copy it here and see what happens uh, I have this uh, JavaScript code and I'm going to uh, run it and you can see that in my uh, console log I get uh, 15 as expected so which is uh, well and good now if I modify this uh, JavaScript code a little bit and I say document that write uh, I, I plus uh, sorry I plus 10 and evaluate it again is going to basically overwrite the whole document and that can be a problem so in those cases what you want to do is uh, have the iframe uh, uh, which can be useful in this case. So uh, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to remove the text box from the main window and uh, add an iframe. And this iframe is basically uh, going to take uh, an HTML file, iframe.html. And I'm going to show you in a second as to what I have in this iframe.html file. So iframe.html file is basically uh, just uh, uh, same sc uh, script it has a script input and uh, a text area and let's see what it does so if I run it you can see now everything is running inside an iframe and I still have that box which is called run code and see if I run it what happens it, uh, I guess run code has to be inside this uh, iframe So I put in a little box uh, button here for run code and uh, we can type in the same code we had before. So if I type in the same code before and run it inside an iframe, so you see it just modifies document.write just works inside the iframe, which is really good and that's what we wanted. Uh, so one another thing I can show you here is that uh, the concept of what is called sandboxing uh, and uh, let me just add that attribute so we have a sandbox and let's just add it uh, without any parameters and see what it does uh, running the same thing so if I uh, so you can see here I got the messages saying block script execution because the documents frame is sandbox and allow scripts permission is not set so basically what it means is that I cannot run uh, it did not it blocked me for running uh, the scripts inside this thing so if I try the same script basically here and put it in here and try to run the code and you can see it's not going to run it and I, I get the same message message so how do we uh, get around it so what inside the sandbox I can uh, put in a, a, a tag called allow scripts And if I do that, uh, you can see I should be able to get back to my original state where if I paste in this code and I can run this code and document.write15 uh, seems to work. So which is good. And uh, another thing I can show you in this iframe is that sometimes uh, instead of just doing this JavaScript evaluation of this, maybe you want to have a, a, a form inside your uh, iframe. So inside your iframe, I added a form Basically what it does is uh, the action is to go and get this original file which is the top of the tree index.html method is get. Uh, basically the, there is an input type uh, text and then there is a button called submit and uh, when on submit it gets index.html. So if I run this thing again you can see I have that little form over here and this is the little button. So if I run this form you can see it's going to get me the original code but it says allow forms must be set uh, because it's sandbox. So what I can do is go back in here and say allow forms. And if I do that, 
uh, you can see if I run this form and do the summation of the form, it goes and gets me the original case. So you can see it's uh, basically if I do it again, you can see I'm getting an iframe instead of an iframe and airframe. Hopefully uh, you have learned about how iframes can be used and how sandbox can, uh, sandboxing can be a useful thing to you. If you want to learn more, you can go to my website at Gaur Associates, uh, go to JavaScript or HTML5 and you can learn more about these things. Thank you for taking the time today. Bye.